in the Padma Purana, there is a nice statement about praising the service of the Vaishnavas. So in there, it said Lord Shiva is speaking to Parvati, telling his wife Parvati that he said there are different methods of worship. Statement in the third canto, seventh chapter, verse 19 of Srimad Bhagavatam. So there it is said, let me become a sincere servant of the devotees. Even seen once, they can help the seer to be relieved from all sinful activities. ประดับไปด้วยเอ่อที่รักเนี่ยทําให้ผู้คนที่พบเห็นเนี่ยเอ่อเป็นสิ่งมงคลต่อผู้ที่พบเห็นแล้วก็ทําให้เขาเนี่
อันนี้เนี่ยเป็นข้อความที่ดีมากๆที่หลายๆวัดเนี่ยจะอ่านกันเวลาที่เขาจะบูชาตุลสี So if you're worshiping Tosi, you can also recite this prayer. ถ้าเราบูชาตุลสีเนี่ยเราก็สามารถที่จะอ่านบทเหล่านี้ได้ Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the Tosi tree. บอกว่าขอให้ข้าพเจ้าข้าพเจ้าหน่อยขอแสดงความเคารพอย่างสูงแด่ต้นตุลสี Tosi tree can immediately vanquish volumes of sinful activities. เพราะว่าต้นตุลสีเนี่ยสามารถที่จะคัดจัดความบาปอย่างมากมายได้ในทันที Simply by seeing or touching this tree, one can become relieved from all distresses and diseases. บอกว่าเพียงแต่ได้เห็นหรือสัมผัสกับต้นไม้นี้ก็สามารถปลดเปลื้องเราจากความทุกข์และโรคร้ายทางปวงได้ Simply by offering obeisances to and pouring water on the Tosi tree. One can become freed from the fear of being sent to the court of Yamaraj, the king of death who punishes the sinful. เพราะเพียงแต่แสดงความเคารพและลดน้ำที่ต้นตุลสีเนี่ยเราก็จะเป็นอิสระจากความกลัวที่จะถูกส่งให้ไปเจอกับยมราชได้หรือเทพเจ้าแห่งความตาย If someone sows a talasi tree somewhere. Certainly, he becomes devoted to Lord Krishna. หรือถ้าเกิดบางคนนะปลูกต้นตุลสีไว้ที่ไหนเนี่ยเขาก็จะกลายเป็นผู้ที่รักยิ่งของคริชนา And when Tosi leaves are offered in devotion at the lotus feet of Krishna, there is full development of love of Godhead. แล้วทำเมื่อไรที่ได้ถวายต้นตุลสีด้วยความรักที่พระบาทรูปดอกบัวของคริชนาเนี่ยอันนั้นเนี่ยก็เป็นจุดเริ่มต้นแห่งการพัฒนาความรักที่บริสุทธิ์ต่อพระองค์ So we should read this prayer every day and remember Tosi. ดังนั้นจึงมีความจำเป็นที่เราควรที่จะอ่านข้อความนี้ทุกวันเพื่อเพื่อระลึกถึงต้นตุลสี So Srila Prabhupada explains in India all Hindus Even those who are not belonging to Vaishnava fam groups, they will take special care of the Tosi tree. Uh, Sir Prabhu Sangh Hiba said that in every person in India who is a Hindu, they will take care of the tree and the tree that is in the house of the Tosi tree. Even in great cities, where it's very difficult to keep a Tosi tree, people. Are found very carefully keeping the plant. แล้วก็ถึงแม้ว่าจะเป็นแบบว่าหาได้ยากถึงแม้ต้นไม้จะขึ้นยากอะไรก็แล้วแต่แต่ผู้คนเนี่ยก็จะยังหาวิธีที่จะคอยปลูกต้นตุลสีอยู่ They water it and offer obeisances to the Tosi tree because worship of the Tosi tree. Is very important in devotional service. เราก็จะยังหาวิธีการที่จะสามารถลดน้ำตุลสีแล้วก็เดินรอบตุลสีได้เพราะว่าสิ่งนี้เนี่ยเป็นสิ่งที่เป็นมงคลมากมาก In the Skanda Purana, there is another statement about Tosi. ใน Skanda Purana เนี่ยได้มีอีกที่หนึ่งกล่าวเกี่ยวกับตุลสีไว้ Tosi is auspicious in all respects. ตุลสีเนี่ยมีความเป็นสิริมงคลในทุกรูปแบบ Simply by seeing, simply by touching, simply by remembering, simply by praying to, simply by bowing before, simply by hearing about, or simply by sowing this tree, there is always auspiciousness. ไอ้บอกไว้ว่าตุลสีเป็นต้นไม้ที่มีความเป็นสิริมงคลด้วยประการทางปวงเพียงแต่ได้เห็นได้สัมผัสได้ระลึกถึงเพียงแต่เพียงแต่สวดภาวนาเพียงแต่ก้มลงกราบต่อหน้าเพียงแต่ได้ฟังเกี่ยวกับพระนางหรือเพียงแต่ได้ปลูกต้นตุลสีจะเป็นสิริมงคลเสมอ
ผู้ใดที่มาสัมผัสกับต้นตุลสีในชีวิตได้กล่าวไว้ว่า Anyone who comes in touch with the Talasi tree in the above-mentioned ways lives eternally in the Vaikuntha world. บอกว่าผู้ใดที่มาสัมผัสกับตุลสีในวิธีที่ได้กล่าวไว้เบื้องต้นจะได้อยู่ในโลกไวคุณชาเนรันดอ So both of these prayers are very nice to read every day. You put the two together and read them together. So try to make a habit. If you're worshiping Tosi, or even if you're not worshiping Tosi, you should be, and you can read this prayer and remember Tosi. อันนี้เนี่ยถึงแม้เราไม่ได้ทำการบูชาตุลสีเองเนี่ยแต่เราก็ควรที่จะอ่านข้อความนี้แล้วก็ระลึกถึงนางตุลสี Okay we're going to go on to chapter 12 further aspects of transcendental service เราจะอ่านต่อในบทที่12บอกลักษณะแห่งการรับใช้ทิพย์เพิ่มเติม First of all hearing the revealed scriptures นั่นแปลคือการสรับฟังคำพีที่เปิดเผย So according to Rupa Goswami any book that gives enlightenment in the matter of advancing in devotional service is considered to be a revealed scripture ตามสิลรูปโกสามีแล้วเนี่ยก็คือหนังสือเล่มใดก็แล้วแต่ที่ให้แสงสว่างเกี่ยวกับความเจริญก้าวหน้าในการที่ตนเสียสารับใช้เนี่ยถือว่าเป็นคำพี So, Mad Srila Madhava Acharya, he is also defined revealed scriptures to be to mean books such as the Ramayana, Mahabharata, Puranas, Upanishads, Vedanta, and any other literature written in pursuance of the revealed scriptures. Srila Madhava Acharya, na da hai kam niyam wa. คำพิธีเปิดเผยว่าหนังสืออย่างเช่นรามเกียรติ์มหาภารตะปุรานาอุปนิชัดเวดันตะและวรรณกรรมอื่นๆเนี่ยที่เขียนไว้เนี่ยก็เจริญรอยตามวรรณกรรมที่เปิดเผยเหล่านี้ In the Skanda Purana there is a statement that a person who is constantly engaged in reading books about the cultivation of Vaishnava devotional service Is always glorious in human society. ใน Skanda Purana นะมีข้อความดังนี้ว่าบุคคลใดชอบอ่านวรรณกรรมที่ส่งเสริมการพัฒนาการวิจารณ์เสียสารรับใช้ของของเอ่อสาวอยู่ตลอด And if someone's always reading the books about devotional service, then Certainly, Lord Krishna becomes pleased with that person. And any person if, who very carefully keeps the scriptures at home and offers respectful obeisances to the scriptures. Then they become freed from all sinful reactions and ultimately become worshipable by the demigods. So just think, we're so fortunate. You keep these books at home. It's so powerful. They're so beneficial. Even if you don't read them, just keeping them at home, you get benefit. But if you read them, then you get even more benefit. So it's also said to Narada Muni, 
Narada Muni was told, if a person writes Vaishnava literature and keeps such literature at home, then Lord Narayan is always living in his home. อันนี้นะอันนี้บอกว่าไงนะอันนี้บอกว่าไงนะอันนี้บอกว่าไงนะอันนี้บอกว่าไงนะอันนี้บอกว่าไงนะอันนี้บอกว่าไงนะอันน
uh, in the Padma Purana, in the Padma Purana, there is a nice statement about praising the service of the Vaishnavas. So in there, it said Lord Shiva is speaking to Parvati. He's telling his wife Parvati that he said there are different methods of worship. And out of all methods of worship, the worship of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is considered to be the highest. But even higher than the worship of the Lord is the worship of the Lord's devotees. So Lord Shiva is glorifying the worship of devotees. So there's a similar statement in the third canto, seventh chapter, verse 19 of Srimad Bhagavatam. So there it is said, let me become a sincere servant of the devotees. And by serving the devotees, one can achieve pure devotional service unto the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. The service of devotees takes away all the miserable conditions of material life. And just by serving the devotees, it, it, it develops uh, a, we can develop a deep love for the for Krishna. Then in the Skanda Purana, there's another statement. It says that people whose bodies are marked with tilak, such as, and uh, they have marks mm -hmm. like. They have marks like tilak with the conch shell, the wheel, the club, and the lotus, and who keep the leaves of tosi on their heads, and whose bodies are always decorated with gopi chandan, even seen once, they can help the seer to be relieved from all sinful activities. ตรงนี้เนี่ยได้บอกไว้ว่าเอ่อสําหรับบุคคลเนี่ยที่เอ่อที่ร่างกายเนี่ยมีการประดับไปด้วยเอ่อที่รักเนี่ยทําให้ผ
เยี่ยมเยียนสาวกและมาสัมผัสกับพระบาทรูปดอกบัวหรือจัดที่นั่งเออให้เขาให้กูให้กูให้กูให้กูไว้คุยกัน Even by remembering the activities of a Vaishnava, one becomes purified along with the whole family. And if you render service to the Vaishnavas, then it will be even more powerful. Then in the Adi Purana, there's a statement by Lord Krishna, who is talking to Arjuna. And he tells Arjuna, he said, "One who claims to be my devotee, he's not really my devotee." สำหรับบุคคลที่กล่าวว่าเขาเนี่ยเป็นสาวกของข้าเนี่ยเขาไม่ใช่สาวกของข้า And only a person who claims to be the devotee of my devotee he is actually my devotee แต่บุคคลที่บอกว่าตัวเองเนี่ยเป็นสาวกของสาวกของข้าเนี่ยบุคคลนั้นเนี่ยเป็นสาวกของข้าจริง No one can approach Krishna directly ไม่มีใครสามารถที่จะเข้าถึงคริสนาโดยตรง One has to approach Krishna through the pure devotee. แล้วก็ต้องเข้าเข้าพบหาคริสนาผ่านทางนะผ่านทางสาวกเท่านั้น So in the system of the Vaishnava activities, the first duty is to accept a spiritual master. And then to render service unto him. ประชันตามหลักของวิชนาวาลาเนี่ยก็คือจะต้องเข้าหาพระอาจารย์ทิพย์แล้วก็ทำการรับใช้พระอาจารย์เสียก่อน Rupa Goswami tells us that all the quotations given in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu from different scriptures are accepted by all the great devotees of Krishna. ว่าทุกอย่างเนี่ยที่ได้กล่าวไว้ในน้ำที่แผ่งการวิจารณ์เสียสละรับใช้เนี่ยเป็นที่ยอมรับแล้วก็เป็นที่เป็นการรับใช้ขณะที่ดี Next one is serving the Lord according to one's position. ต่อไปก็คือรับใช้พระขวานตามสถานภาพของตน In the Padma Purana, there's a statement. That one should perform the ceremonies for the Lord according to one's financial position. In the Padma Purana, he said that one person should perform the ceremonies for the Lord according to one's financial position. In other words, somebody may have a lot of money, so he can make it a very opulent festival, and somebody may have a lot of money, so he can make it a very opulent festival. And somebody may be quite poor, so they can have a, a simple festival. But everyone has to celebrate the festivals. บางคนเนี่ยอาจจะมีเงินมากก็สามารถที่จะจัดเทศกาลใหญ่ได้บางคนอาจจะมีเงินน้อยก็สามารถทำเทศกาลเล็กได้ So everyone should observe the different ceremonies and celebrations of of Krishna by all means. บุคคลควรที่จะเฉลิมฉลองการรับใช้กิชนาเนี่ยตามสกายภาพของตน Okay next item performing devotional service in the month of Kartik ข้อต่อไปคือการปฏิบัติการวิตนเสียสารับใช้ในเดือน Kartik So Kartik means the month of Damodar usually it's October November เป็นเดือนของดามดาระจะเกิดขึ้นในระหว่างเดือนตุลากับพฤศจิก So one of the most important of these functions is called Urja Vrat. ประเด็นที่สำคัญในในช่วงเดือนนี้คือการถือศีลแบบ Urja Vrat. Vrat means the vow. Vrat คือศีลแบบ Urja Vrat. 
to do Urja. So in that month, the month of Kartik, especially in Vrindavan, there's a special program for temple worship of Krishna in the Damodar form. Damodar means Krishna, whose belly is bound with ropes by his mother Yashoda. So just as Lord Damodar is very dear to the devotees, so the month of Damodar or the month of Kartik is also very dear to the devotees. So devotional service during the month of Kartik is very much recommended to be performed in Mathura. So this, at that time, many devotees will go there. They'll go to Vrindavan or Mathura and they will stay there for the whole month of Kartik just to do devotional service during that time. And the Padma Purana, it is said, the Lord may offer liberation or he may offer material happiness to a devotee. But after they've done devotional service in Vrindavan or Mathura during the month of Kartik, then the devotee only wants pure devotional service to Krishna. The devotee doesn't want anything material. He just wants service to Krishna. So we should know Krishna doesn't give devotional service to ordinary people. He, he, he will only give it to people who are very serious about devotional service. But even if some people are not very serious about devotional service, but if they if they follow the regulative principles during the month of Kartik, and if they're within but Vrindavan or Mathura at that time, then they very easily get liberation to Krishna, Krishna's personal service. And then the next item, offering festival, celebrating the Lord's activities. In the Bhavishya Purana, there's a statement about observing different ceremonies, celebrating the Lord's appearance. So 
วันเฉลิมฉลองของ The Lord's appearance that means the birthday of the Lord, just like Krishna's birthday is Janmashtami, and that's next month. อย่างเช่นการปรากฏเรือการประสุนในนั้นก็หมายถึงการเกิดวันเกิดของ Krishna หรือว่า Janmashtami ที่จะเกิดขึ้นในเดือนหน้า And we also celebrate different festivals about Krishna's other activities. เราก็จะมีการเฉลิมฉลองเกี่ยวกับกิจกรรมอื่นๆของ Krishna. Just like Krishna's lifting over the hill, we celebrate that. มันก็ที่ Krishna เนี่ยยกภูเขา Govardhan, เราก็เฉลิมฉลองตรงนั้น And then, uh, it is said, "My dear Lord Janardhan, Janardhan means the name of Krishna. Please let us know the date when your mother Devaki gave birth to you." บอกว่าองค์ Janardhan Krishna ที่รักได้โปรดให้พวกเรารู้วันที่คุณแม่ Devaki เนี่ยทรงให้กำเนิดพระองค์ If you will tell us when that when you took when you appeared when your birthday is, we shall observe a big festival on this day. ว่าพวกเราเนี่ยจะได้เฉลิมฉลองพิธีกรรมอันยิ่งใหญ่ในวันนี้ Oh Krishna, we are souls, one hundred percent surrendered unto your lotus feet, and we wish only to please you with our ceremonies. Oh. คริชนาพวกเราเนี่ยอยากจะเฉลิมฉลองนี้แล้วก็อยากจะมีความสุขกับพิธีกรรมนี้แล้วก็เพื่อให้พร่องเนี่ยทรงพึงพอพระทัย So this is a statement from the Bhavishya Purana and it gives evidence that by observing different functions in relationship with Krishna one is sure to become pleasing to Krishna ตรงนี้นะก็ได้บอกไว้ในบวิชปุรานะว่าเป็นหลักฐานแสดงว่าจากการถือปฏิบัติวันเฉลิมฉลองต่างๆที่สัมพันธ์กับองค์พระขวานเนี่ยแน่นอนว่าจะเป็นที่ชื่นชอบของพระองค์ So you want to please Krishna so observe these different festivals ถ้าเราอยากจะทำให้ Krishna ทรงพึงพอพระทัยเนี่ยเราก็ต้องปฏิบัติตาเทศกาลเหล่านี้ All right, so we will stop here today. Are there any questions? 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 Nobody there eh, to ask questions. Oh, you got one, Gomarash. Got one. Uh, you at the Sachimaji. Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Please accept my humble obeisances. Long glory to Sri Lankapada. Guru Maharaj, if devotees are on the platform of Bhava and Prema, uh, do they all hide their manifestations? Or do some some of them still show signs of ecstasy sometimes? Well, generally, if they're on if they're on the platform of bhava and prema, they cannot really control when they're going to do it. But if they do it, then suddenly, then they they will want to go into Seclusion. They will not just sit with all the people. They will generally they will go away and into a room on their own. บอกว่าคนที่อยู่ในระดับบาวะเนี่ยจะมีอาการเป็นยังไงบ้างเขาจะยังทำเหมือนกับเอ่อยังแบบสาธารณะต่อธรรมดาอยู่ไหมแต่เดินทางก็บอกว่าเอ่อเราที่อยู่ในระดับนี้เนี่ยคือเขาจะมีมีความรู้สึกเป็นพิเศษอย่างมากเพราะฉะนั้นการวิตนเสียสารับใช้ที่เขาทําเนี่ยมันจะเต็มไปด้วยความรู้สึกแต่เขาจะไม่สามารถหยุดอย่างตนเองได้ mm-hmm. 
So yes, it, it's not for public display. If you're in ecstasy or bhava, you generally you don't want to be with the public. You don't want to be with a lot of people because they won't understand what's happening. เขาจะยังไม่รู้ว่าถึงระดับนั้นมันคืออะไรอือฮึโอเคยศกุลมาคราชเซนทุสมัชฮาริคริชนาฮาริคริชนาโยกิตมาตาจีฮาริคริชน
taste, if we have that sincere desire to want to please Krishna and to serve Krishna, that is the main thing, the sincere desire to make an offering to Krishna, that is the most pleasing to Krishna. And we should feel also the, the effect of that devotional service. Just like if you're concentrating on hearing some scripture, you're concentrating on doing some service for Krishna, we should feel satisfaction and we should feel the pleasure from it that we've made an attempt to make an offering to Krishna, that that hearing or that service which we did was all done with the purpose of giving pleasure to Krishna. So the more we think about giving pleasure to Krishna, the more we will feel pleasure ourselves. Although we don't have the mood just to please ourselves, but it's a natural effect that by trying to please Krishna, we will also feel pleasure ourselves. Not only will we feel pleasure, but actually all living entities will feel pleasure, just simply by trying to serve Krishna. So that is how we actually know that Krishna is pleased, that we feel satisfaction and we feel our faith increasing. We should have faith that this service is being accepted by Krishna. The effort, the endeavor which we make to please Krishna, that is the important thing. Prabhupada talks in the Nectar of Instruction, in the preface of the Upadesha Amrita, he talks about everything depends on the attitude of the disciple. So if we have the right attitude that we, we want to act for the pleasure of Krishna, then that will be the most pleasing thing. And we should feel transcendental pleasure ourselves trying to please Krishna. Okay. That is how I understand it. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Um, but Guru Maharaj also, um, one thing is to please Krishna, but sometimes it's, it's also mentioned that if the Guru is pleased, then Krishna is pleased. Um, how do we also understand whether the Guru is pleased? Well, if you're following his instructions, then he's pleased. If he's, he must have given us some instructions, then certainly that's pleasing to him. Just like, you know, I'm reading Prabhupada's book. So reading Prabhupada's books, I feel transcendental pleasure in that. Because I know Prabhupada wanted us to read his books. And, you know, and he said the nectar of devotion is like the handbook for devotees. And so by reading the nectar of devotion, I'm feeling that this is pleasing to Prabhupada. Okay. So sometimes the Guru may not know, um, is, there a, is there a requirement for the disciple to update the Guru each time or do we just follow the instructions of the Guru and then uh, hope, uh, I mean understand that Guru will be pleased, Krishna will be pleased automatically? Mm. Yeah, you can update the Guru occasionally, it's not very important. The main thing is that we are attempting to, the consciousness is there, that we're trying to please the Guru. So, you, you know, Guru can know, he knows from when he does meet, when he does contact with the devotees, he can understand who is sincerely trying and who's endeavoring for devotional service, who is actually practicing and who is not. Not that we have to tell him everything we do, but sometimes you may like to keep him updated. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Yes, yes one more question, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I will quickly touch. Sri Devi, Sri Devi Mataji. I have a question. 
Yes, Sri Devi. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, thank you very much, Guru Maharaj, for yesterday. Because actually, Guru Maharaj is supposed to uh, give us a Zoom class. But I told Guru Maharaj about that program. Uh, anyway, uh, four devotees went with me. I prepared prashadam for the devotees. And then that family gave a very generous donation to Iskon Klang. Uh, but the only thing is that uh, nobody was listening to the kirtan except for a few ladies five ladies like that. Everybody was busy talking. So it was not a very nice uh, environment anyway to do Mara, the Mara. But uh, we continued anyway. We did the Kirtan and then um, they didn't want the program to be very long. So after that, managed to sell, uh, uh, sorry, to distribute one Bhagavad Gita and two children's books to their family. So I just wanted to update Guru Maharaj about this. And my question for today is, uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, how uh, I mean, um, how not to get disturbed? Uh, like Guru Maharaj always tells us that we need to be in transcendental bliss, chant, be happy, be happy, like that chant. Sometimes I have a high moment, I'm happy, I've chanted and I'm happy. Then after that, uh, something somebody calls me, say a very uh, somebody uh, unfairly talks to me or deals with me in a very unfair way or criticizes uh, my my devotional practices. Uh, I mentioned before in a class earlier also, like somebody says, you know, you're all day in your Krishna consciousness, you know, of course, uh, you will overlook this or you'll overlook that. But I find as a human being, so hard to be attentive to everything. If I'm absorbed in my Krishna consciousness matter, that's where I'm happy to be. I'm happy to be in with my Krishna consciousness affairs. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm neglectful of my family duties. I'm not. But sometimes as a human being, sometimes one uh, here and there, we might slip up here and there, uh, forgot to do something or didn't uh, on time uh, do something. For example, I'm supposed to make a phone call to somebody to inquire about something, but maybe I didn't do that. Uh, so like this, Guru Maharaj, uh, it always brings me, breaks me down to tears. You know, I'm saying like, like I'm a devotee, you know, like uh, I'm a devotee. I'm trying to do my best, single-handedly being a devotee. Um, it's so tough. It's so hard. Uh, sometimes I'm up to wash all the brassware, RD sets and everything, you know, for the, I wash it last, last thing of the day is washing the RD trays uh, to, to, to use next day. So I, I, I'm sorry, Guru Maharaj, but I'm, I'm just breaking down and feeling like very, uh, very, very upset how how I can, like Guru Maharaj said, must be happy in Krishna consciousness. I'm happy, but at the same time, I'm tearful. Uh, please help me, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. <laughs> well, you should be happy. Yeah, you should be happy to have so much service to do. If you didn't have any service, then that would be a problem. But you have so much service to do, so you should be very happy. Yes, you're worshipping the par you're worshipping Krishna, so you use your brass and paraphernalia, so you have to wash it every day. It's all right, don't cry about it. It's your service to Krishna. Remember, when you're polishing the brass, you're polishing your heart. You're cleaning your heart when you're serving Krishna. You're taking all the dirt out of your heart. You're getting rid of all your sins. Hmm? You know, you were also sinful. You know, before being a devotee, we all were sinful. We're coming from the material world. And we're coming with a lot of bad karma from many lives. But devotional service is getting rid of all that bad karma. So you should feel happy to do service for Krishna. It's described like that in Srimad Bhagavatam, that the devotees are so busy serving Krishna that they don't have any time to do all the service they have to do for Krishna. <laughs> we have so many books to read and so many songs to chant and so many prayers to recite and so much service to be done. So wonderful. So don't cry about it. Yeah, be blissful in your service. Be blissful in your service. Be joyful. You are a spirit soul. You're not the body. You you listen to your mind too much. Problem is your mind. So you're not the mind. 
You're the soul. You have to chant. You have to transcend the mind. So be happy. Even you don't feel happy, just try to be happy. You know, smile, you know, and, and be joyful and say, Haribo, Haribo. And laugh about it. Don't get all mental and anxiety about it and cry. Just laugh. You know, just, oh, Krishna, you're so merciful to me. You've given me all this service. Mm. Why are you crying? Mm. The, the crying is not about the service, Guru Maharaj. It is about the people insulting me, Guru Maharaj. No, well, this, this is your karma. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> this is your karma. It's Does good. to be disturbed, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, don't be disturbed by it. You know, just accept it that somehow, you know, somehow due to some past thing, Krishna's put you in this situation where people are not very nice to you. But maybe also you're not very nice to them. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. I told you before mm -hmm. that people are not very nice to you because you haven't been very nice to them. You've been on there, you've been complaining about them. So they start complaining about you. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't expect that, you know, you're going to complain about people. They're, they're not, they're definitely going to complain about you. They'll find things to complain. Okay. So you have to stop complaining about them and just accept them as they are. You're not going to change them. But you should be happy. They facilitate. They're helping you. They, you because of them, you've got, this, you've got a nice opportunity there. You've got your own office there to sit there and read and write. So don't get disturbed. Be happy. You say, say to Krishna, oh, thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. I'm so fallen. You should tell Krishna, I'm, I deserve to suffer much more, but Krishna's only giving me a little suffering. Right? Oh, yes, yes, Guru Maharaj. You're such a, we're such fallen souls. We deserve to suffer much more, but Krishna's only giving us a token suffering. So you have to think like this, Sridhi. You have to control your mind. It's all about disciplining children and all Guru Maharaj as a devotee. Sometimes we have to be a bit very, very, um, you know. Children means under 15. Oh, these are big children. No, 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 no. You're thinking children, they're not children anymore. I see. You're thinking they're children. You're thinking that they're not children anymore. That's your problem. Okay. You're thinking my child, but they're already grown up. They're adults. But and you have... Adults, Guru Maharaj, they're still, huh? living same, still living in the same, under the same roof, Guru Maharaj. They may be living in the same roof as you, but they're not thinking like children anymore. They're young men and young women. And so you have to recognize that. Mm. They're not children. Mm -hmm. And they were maybe 20 years ago or 15 years ago, but not now. Okay. So you have to change your vision, mm -hmm. how you see them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not, 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 not so easy. I, I don't know how, but it's quite difficult, but I will follow Guru Maharaj's valuable advice. And and uh, my difficulty is the not to get disturbed part. I will try my best to improve my chanting, improve my services. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sri Devi. Hare Krishna. Okay, Archana. Yes, Guru Maharaj. 
no, no, no more, more questions. Yes, sir. No. Okay, so we'll stop here tonight. Thank you very yeah. much. Shri yeah. Prabhupada ki jai. Gorban ki jai. 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 Jai.